cinematographically, visually speaking, um, s strong warm sunlight was the guiding visual binder whilst writing the script. There's a French film by Eric Romer called The Green Ray about watching the sunset. Shot on film. And there's a lovely shot of just the sun going, descending beneath the horizon of the ocean and emitting this green ray just as it pops out. And uh, during uh, lockdown, which is when I was writing the majority, most of the script was written during lockdown, um, I was watching a lot of sunsets on YouTube. <laughs> watching a lot of uh, surfing on YouTube and just uh, connecting to the natural world via YouTube and feeling pretty uh, hemmed in at the same time, cooped up, getting house mange. Um, but yeah, watching a lot of lovely, gorgeous, sunlight drenched beach surfing shots, shot on film. 35, a lot of it 35 millimetre, and I, um, I love the way film interacts with bright sunlight, uh, that, and, and, and uh, I don't love the way digital interacts with bright sunlight. Um, that's, that's a visual thing that happened while I was writing the script, um, and yeah, I have got really attached to the tactility of film and the, the, the sense that it would be, a, be, be it would pierce through the, the kind of screen-based bilge, bilge water that, you know, you're, you're getting spewed on by an iron-hard torrent of digital content all the time. So I thought maybe film would be a good way to go. But it wasn't really a decision, it was a desire from the very beginning, so. Um, I didn't, I didn't know of Hannah until we came to a, uh, looking for a composer, and um, yeah, I mean from the very beginning there was lots of musical ideas rattling about in my head, and I think at the beginning writing the script and when we were we were shooting, I I, I hadn't fully realised that it would be even possible to get a, a, a composer, but um, Hannah was is amazing in that sh she can um, rustle up electronic synthesized music and compose or orchestral pieces or choir pieces, trombone, brass pieces. I, w when we came to look for a composer, she was the, the definitely the number one there, there for, for, for her amazing versatility, her dexterity, and uh, it was great fun. Great fun working with her and um, seeing how she worked in her studio, and then I went over to play with ideas and stuff, and get some um, some basic sound beds and things down. But then the real the real major excitement was um, in Glasgow recording at the um, RSNO in their purpose built auditorium. I think I feel a, a responsibility to just enjoy it and um, uh, provide um, and hopefully uh, inject fun into the the, the ceremony. And um, it, 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 there's so many different feelings rattling around. You know, there's a, a huge amount of people I know will be at the the screening, the cast and the crew and friends and family. But I think the thing that, that means the most is absolutely the sense that this is the first time the film will be shown to a public audience. And I would, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to, to see how it res people respond to it. I'd love to be a fly on the wall, um, especially the nine o'clock screening, really. The, the thought of just a big audience and, and um, um, it means a huge amount and, and, and the, the history of 
the festival and the city of Edinburgh, um, they mean a lot to me for different historical reasons. <laughs>